Some countries can be proud of their nature, some of their culture. Others still can be proud of both. Azerbaijan, a fascinating land with nine distinct climatic zones, rich in natural resources, and a favorable geographical position at the crossroads of East and West, is one of these. Azerbaijan is among the areas of earliest human settlement with a rich historical past and diverse cultural legacy. Archaeological excavations have unearthed a great number of artifacts testifying to its distant past, as do different rock drawings, architectural monuments and examples of arts and crafts. The country also has ancient traditions of statehood. The predecessors of the modern Republic of Azerbaijan, established by the ancestors of the Azerbaijani people, each has its own share in this culture. Every region of the country has played its part in this common culture and made its unique contribution to the heritage of Azerbaijan, among which Karabakh had a special place. Karabakh, this ancient, mysterious, charming place, is where some of the oldest traces of human habitation were discovered. In 1968, in Khojavant district, archaeologists excavated the Azikh cave of the Lower Paleolithic Age and part of the jawbone of a primitive man from the Acheulean period. This was the first such discovery in the Soviet Union and the second in the world. The Tarlar cave, again in this district, one of the rare multi-layer caves among Mostia monuments, also contained traces of the Paleolithic Age. Monuments like Garakopek Tepe, the first residential area of antiquity in Azerbaijan, were the most ancient artifacts of the Neolithic and Bronze Ages, and Khan Tepe, with the most ancient metallic finding in the southern Caucasus, were in Fizuli district. The historical roots of the Uzerlich Tepe residential area in Ardam were also in the Bronze Age. The first ancient residential area in a high mountainous place in Azerbaijan and the drawings engraved on rocks by forging and engraving were in the Kalbeja district. The Javurgala residential area in the Ardam district was a valuable source for learning about the history of statehood in Azerbaijan. The history of a town with an area of 40 hectares found during archaeological excavations here dated back to the 3rd to the 10th centuries. This source provided researchers with sufficient information on Caucasian Albania, covering the area from the Aras River in the south to Derband in the north, the first predecessor of the modern Republic of Azerbaijan and on Caucasian Albanians. Karabakh region, which was part of Caucasian Albania throughout its almost 11th century existence, was rich with Albanian religious monuments, including architectural ones. The cloisters like Amaras in Rajavand, St. Elysius in Terter, Arochlan in Lachin were in particular attention. The collapse of Caucasian Albania in the early 8th century and the adoption of Islam by most of its population gradually had an influence also on the examples of material culture. However, Christianity continued to remain in some places. The most attractive amongst the Christian monuments in terms of their architecture were the Khudavang and Ganjasar cloisters. Different Azerbaijani Muslim states were established in the territory of Caucasian Albania upon the arrival of Islam. Of course, works of art that were created thereafter would contain Muslim culture. Such monuments were abundant in the Garabakh region. The 11 and 15 arch Hudafarin bridges, the Chalabilar Mosque complex, and the Sultan Majid Hammam in Jabrail. The Gutlu Musaulu tomb in Chabulak Castle in Ardam, the Malik Ajdar tomb in Lachin, those of Damachilar in Gujulu in Gubatla, Mehmet Beyli in Zengilan and Mirali in Fizuli, the Garcha Bazar Mosque in Karavansarai again in Fizuli, the castles of Asgaran in Khojali and Lech in Kalbajar, those of Shusha in Garabul Khan and the Mosque of Yukharu, Ashara and Sakli in Shusha were testaments to this history. Along with architectural monuments, Karabakh was home of examples of arts and crafts. Stone boxes, stone sheep and horse figures in the Lachin, Kalbajar, Kubatli, Ardam, Jabrail and Khojali districts were reminders of the ancient times. 
Together with the pagan and Christian past of Azerbaijanis, these monuments heralded their Muslim culture. The replacement of religious belief wasn't able to change the structure of cultural heritage. This was in itself irrefutable evidence that these cultural samples were the product of the consciousness of the same people. Not only the Garabakh region, but also on the territory of modern Armenia, where the famous Albanian cloisters like Tatev and Goshavang were located, had a number of examples of arts and crafts. The cemetery of Urut village in the Sunik province, which was part of Caucasian Albania and then of different Azerbaijani Muslim states, was a valuable source containing traces of different stages of Azerbaijani history. The cemetery was rich with stone monuments with Azerbaijani, Arabic and Persian engravings on them. The territories of historical Azerbaijan, which are now part of Armenia, contained also tombs which were examples of Islamic architecture. The tomb of 1413 of the Azerbaijani Garagoyunlu Amirs in the former Jafarabad village of modern Ararat province was particularly attractive. The monument was studied by a joint expedition of the Azerbaijani and Armenian Academies of Sciences in 1961, which revealed that the tomb was built for Amir Saad by order of Amir Bir Hussein. The territory of modern Armenia was also rich with unique monuments of the Safavid period, the peak of Azerbaijani statehood, and of its successor, the period of Khanats, all of which represented Azerbaijani architecture. Irvan Castle, Shah Ismail, Khuda Banda, Shah Abbas, Ulu Jame, Haji Nurfuz Ali, Damibullah Mosques, Goy Mosque, Karavansarai's hammams, mansions of khans, bays and traders were reminders in stone of this time. The treaties of Gulistan of 1813 and Turkmenchai of 1828 dealt an irreparable blow to Azerbaijani statehood. About a hundred years later, in 1918, our independence was restored, but unfortunately, this didn't last very long. The young state couldn't withstand the aggression of Soviet Russia. However, even then, architectural monuments, rare pearls of Azerbaijani culture, were being created and maintained. The walls of Shusha Castle, founded by Panna Khan in the first half of the 1750s, were strengthened in the 19th century. The mosque, which was a memory of Panna Khan, was restored by Gavher Agha, the daughter of Ibrahim Khan, in 1866. Gavher Agha also had the Ajahu Mosque built for the need of the population and placed the madrasas of both holy places at the disposal of the people. Moreover, the mansions of Hajikulu, Asad Bey, Natavan, the Memandarovs, the Zorabeyovs and others were also valuable architectural examples of the 19th century. The Khanluk Muhtar Karavansarai and those reflecting the artistic aesthetic taste of the Mirsiyab Olandara and the Safarov brothers lent their charm and special beauty to Shusha, the conservatoire of the Caucasus. The square spring completed the square ensemble of the town. No fundamental construction was carried out in Shusha except for the western part and thus the historically formed structure of the town remained unchanged. For that reason, the historical part of town was turned into a historical and architectural reserve in 1977. In other districts of Karabakh, the town mosques and tombs of Ibrahim Khan, Mehdi Guru Khan, Khanoglu and Altam, the mosques of Haji Erekbar, Gocha Metli and Khurajis in Fizuli, Papu, Dashkassan and Suleimanli in Jabrai, a number of springs and bridges in Lachin and Kubatli were also memories of the 19th century. In the Soviet period, important projects were realized in order to perpetuate the memory of genuine personalities. New architectural examples were created, busts were set and monuments were raised. In Shusha, a great representative of classic Azerbaijani realist poetry who played an exclusive role in the development of the Azerbaijani literary language, Mullah Pana Vagif's mausoleum and bust, poet, philologer, painter, calligrapher and musician Mir Mahsun Nawab's grave monument, which was set up by UNESCO, granddaughter of Ibrahim Khan, daughter of Mehdi Guru Khan, initiator of the water pipeline to Shusha, poetess Hurshid Banu Natavan's bust, composer who founded modern Azerbaijani professional music and opera in all Muslim East with his Leili and Majnoon, staged for the first time on January the 12th, 1908, musician, publicist, dramatist, pedagogue, Uzer Hajibeyov's home museum, monument and bust. 
and founder of Azerbaijani professional vocal school Bülbüls, home museum and bust. In other districts, the famous representative of the 17th century Ashikh literature, Sari Ashikh's memorial museum in Lachin, Azerbaijani Ashikh poetry female founder Ashikh Peri's monument and hero of the Soviet Union Jamil Ahmedov's bust and memorial museum in Jebrail, Jenian poet Fizuli's monument in the town bearing his name, Natavan's grave monument and Uzey's monument in Akhdam, the 19th century peasant movement's leading representatives Gashak Nabi and Hajar's busts in Gubatle. In the Soviet period, special attention was paid to the restoration of historical monuments of Azerbaijan as well. Of the great number of monuments planned for restoration in Shusha, in this period, the work was completed on the castle walls, Ibrahim Khan's castle, mosques of Yuhara and Ashari Gavherova, Satle, Mamaye, Haji Yusufli, Kacherli, and the Teza Mahela, Karavanserais of Khanluk Mukhtar and Agha Garaman Mirsiyab, mansions of Natavan, Ugurlu Bey, the Memandarovs, and Zohra Beyovs, and the Hamam Shirinsu. As for other districts, restoration was carried out on Sultan Bud tomb in Lachin, the Genjaser cloister in Kalbajar, Chalabi Ler Mosque complex in Jabrail, Haji Alakbar Mosque, Garga Bazar Mosque and Karawansarai in Fizuli, Asgaran Castle in Khojali, Town in Giyazla Mosque's complex of Imarat of Panay Khan, tombs of Gutlu Musa Ullu and Kangerli in Agdam, and other monuments. Azerbaijan, which re-declared its independence in 1991, was recognized by the international community within the borders of 86,600 square kilometers. However, Armenia didn't want to accept the existing reality and began an undeclared war against Azerbaijan. The aggression resulted in the occupation of a great portion of our country, leaving about one million Azerbaijanis as refugees and internally displaced persons. As a result of the occupation of Shusha, Kalbajar, Lachin, Kubatle, Zangilan, Jabrail, Fizuli, Khajavand, Khajale, Agdam and Tata districts, seven villages in the district of Kazakh and Kerki village of Sadarek district, 1,891 cultural resources, including 738 monuments, 28 museums with more than 83,500 exhibits, four picture galleries, 14 memorial complexes, and 1,107 cultural establishments were left in the hands of the enemy. The province, once charming the people with its every state, was turned to ruins. And every minute our territory spent under occupation separates us further from our cultural heritage, which had survived the test of millennia and which is of unprecedented importance in the study of Azerbaijani history. As the victim of the Armenian aggression, the traces of our past in these territories are faced with complete elimination. The years which have passed since the ceasefire of 1994 prove the point. The damage to the Azerbaijani cultural heritage was far worse than during the military phase of the war. The aggression against the cultural heritage of Shusha town, the historical and architectural reserve, started with a square spring, and the Yukhara and Ashara, Gavherara mosques and madrasas, and then targeted all monuments. Other mosques, examples of Islamic architecture, the mansions, hammam and caravanserais, with their attractive architecture and which were considered historical and architectural monuments, were destroyed, burned and rendered unusable. Under the disguise of restoration, an architectural example of the 19th century where Aslan Garasharov, hero of the Second World War, lived, was razed to the ground and three new Armenian houses were built in its place. The architectural 